And now, live from the Buffalo Wild Wings at 2464 North Lincoln and Lincoln Park, it's time for the ExpressBet.com postgame show. Brought to you by MotorWorks and Old Second Bank. With Doug Buffone and Ed Obradovich, a Chicago tradition after every Bears game. And only on the official station for Bears fans, Sports Radio 670 The Score and 670thescore.com. Chicago's sports station. Presented by ExpressBet.com. Get in, get out, get paid. And brought to you in part by Miller Lite, the official beer of your Chicago Bears. First and ten, Jake Cutler back to his 13-yard line after the fumbled punt returned by Hester. Snap, handing off, right side. Matt Forte at the 15 to the 20. Forte, open field cut at the 40. Splits defenders crossing midfield to the Saints 45. A first down run of significance. Beckham Jenkins on the other end makes the tackle. One back slot, right, two receivers. Tight end left side, Kellen Davis on second and goal, eight-yard line. Snap to Jay in a short set. Throwing over the middle. End zone. Touchdown. Touchdown, Bears. Welcome to the NFL for the kid out of Toledo, Ohio, by way of Ohio State, Dean Sonsenbacher. Backs on each hip. Slot to the right, three receivers. Snap. Bears bring four. Freeze with time. Stepping up. Now launching. Deep downfield. He's got Henderson over the top at the 30. Breaks two tackles. Ten left, five. Goal line end zone. Touchdown on third and 12. Second down and 10. Jay in the shotgun. Three men up front again. They could be blitzing from either side. One safety back deep. Here's the snap. They're blitzing off the left side. And they get to cover. They made it the quarterback. And they blow it dead before. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Jay taking exception to the roughhousing that received after the whistle. Jed Collins, a stand-up wing to the left, snap freeze, looking into the right flat, goes to scroll to the 15 of the 10, gets a block to the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. I thought for a minute they said he stepped out, but he didn't. Forte set to the right side. Saints are bringing Uh-oh. the house. Here's Casillas free, sacks Cutler back at the 41. Untouched, Jonathan Casillas. They'll bring four, including an unblocked and... Junior Gallette sacks Jay Cutler inside the two. Oof. Sixth sack for New Orleans. 3.32 to play. It's a seven-yard loss. So the Bears will go to one and one The Saints go to one and one as well. The Bears will host the Green Bay Packers next Sunday at 3.15 at Soldier Field while Matt Schaub's Houston Texans come here to the Superdome to take on the New Orleans Saints. Holden Fruits and getting together with his old offensive lineman exchanging handshakes and hugs as the Saints capitalize on the Bears today those highlights courtesy of WBBM Radio Jeff Joniak on the call welcome to the expressbet.com postgame show on the score sports radio 670 is brought to you by MotorWorks and Old Second Bank on the score, Sports Radio 670. We are live at Buffalo Wild Wings, 2464 North Lincoln Avenue in Chicago. Ed Obradovich, Doug Buffon. Our phone number is 312-644-6767. And the score was New Orleans 30 and Matt Forte 13. And that's what the game was all about, Matt Forte. Because other than that, our offense was pathetic. Talking from the offensive line, talking about the wide receivers, and we're even going to take Cutler in on this deal. Doug, how can you say that? I know. I spoke out of turn. I am so sorry I said that. I've, I mean, I've seen us do some bad offenses before, and I understand, too, they're down there, and obviously in New Orleans. New Orleans is a good team. They're a good offensive team. They're not a terrific football team as far as defense is concerned. You know, last year they gave up, what, 35 or 40 points to Seattle, and also they gave up. When you talked about the Green Bay Packers playing them, we were we were we were brutal. I mean that when you have your wide receivers, and you're looking at your wide receivers, a kid that's undrafted, and Sanzenbacher has got to be your number one guy. You got a major problem going on. Not to mention the fact that you can't protect Cutler, and not to mention the fact that I saw Cutler too. He was he couldn't hit a bull in the ass with a banjo either, the way he was playing. So I don't know what's going on with this team. They you know. Again, too, they, I said the same thing last year, Eddie. Starting off the season, boy, what's going on? And all of a sudden, they turn it around. I hope they can turn it around. I mean, that that is that a problem? I don't know. But what I saw today was really dis- disappointing. Well, here, Doug. Uh, last year, the year before that, the year before that, the year before that, the year before that, with our wide receivers, what is the number one thing that they cannot do? They cannot get separation. 
okay? Now, if it's Drake, our end coach, or Lovey Smith, our head coach, Mike Martz, our, our offensive coordinator, or the scouts they have or whatever, Jay Cutler needs help. He needs some professional receivers that can get downfield and get separation. Now, <clears throat> Mike Martz, talking about his tight ends, Doug, before this game, who, I don't know, did you see him out there? The only time I saw him was when that guy blew around Kellen Davis twice. He almost got Cutler killed. He did it last week. He did it last year. This kid cannot block. But he's big, though, Doug, and he's fast. Now, here's what Mike Martz said about our, t- our tight ends. This is our offensive coordinator, folks. <clears throat> Best group I have ever been around. There is a lot of things with them that I am excited about down the road. Mike, the road started two weeks ago, in case you didn't know that. We have tight ends that do not get involved in a passing game, and when we ask them to block, they're in there for max protection. There's a reason why they're there, and they can't block. You saw it, folks. You saw it right in front of you. You saw it on the TV screen. You can't hide. You can't run away. You can't take an invisible glass of water. It is what it is. And it was last week, Doug, last year. It just goes on and on and on. Hey, that about sums it up, Bob. We'll see you next week. <laughs> yeah. I mean, is yeah, that not the truth? I mean, what did exactly you say? What's good, exactly what you saw. How can that come, Davis, I mean, last know. week and this week, let a guy blow right around yeah. him and almost take Cutler's head off? And when we come back, I want to talk about that offensive line, and more particular, I want to talk about O'Neill and talk about his game. You're listening to the ExpressBet.com postgame show presented by MotorWorks and Old Second Bank. Our phone number is 312-644-6767. Say miss the same. Some of them were. I mean, when you have that many sacks, it's a combination. Some maybe assignments. Uh, some of it was just them winning. You got to give them a lot of the credit. That was Lovey Smith talking about the sacks. Welcome back to the ExpressBet.com postgame show brought to you by MotorWorks and also Second Bank on the score, Sports Radio 670. We're live at Buffalo Wild Wings 2464, North Lincoln, and Chicago. Now it's time for Doug and OB's thoughts of the game, sponsored by ExpressBet.com. Go right now to ExpressBet.com and enter promo code HAWWSCR to not only receive a free $125 sign up bonus, but also be automatically entered to win $100 in free bets at Hawthorne Racecourse this fall. That's promo code H-A-W-W-S-C-R at ExpressBet.com. Doug and O.B.'s thoughts of the game. Brought to you by ExpressBet.com. Get in, get out, or get paid. I have three simple thoughts. Pay for Tay. Get a number one wide receiver. In the offensive line, get your act together or Jay Cutler will be in a wheelchair by the end of the week. And your thoughts, Eddie? My thoughts. <laughs> I've got eight pages, Doug, of thoughts. and, and Give me two. It's, it, it's sad to say, Doug, that it, everything is is uh, everything is bad. Um, I, you know, I uh, they did a hell of a job. The coaches last week did a hell of a job of getting the players ready to go. And, and we saw... Uh, what can really happen when our defensive tackles get up the field and cave in the pocket, uh, you know, all the havoc they, they can create. Well, that didn't happen. Melton basically didn't get off the line of scrimmage. Uh, was it last week because they were playing up against a backup center and a backup guard? Who knows, but it didn't happen, and that's what you've got. To, that's what has to happen. That Every play, especially when you've got a quarterback that slings the ball 45 times. Well, the other thing, too, is I, and I want to throw the ball at I've You know, I've changed my philosophy on that. But would we run the football in the second half? Two we times? ran it two times. Two times? Two times for seven yards. ten in the first half? Yeah, ten in the first half and two for seven yards the second half. Now, Dougie, I mean, there's so many things uh, that really went wrong here. And and I, I just get absolutely mystified as, you know, you, you got Cutler here. And I know that you you and the big man Hampton – uh, you guys love Cutler. I like him. And, yeah. and, Not today and, I didn't and like him. I, I like him, but I know you guys love him. 
But, you know, you, you keep saying, well, you've got to give him some help. You've got to give him some help. Well, Doug, what has he been here now? Three, four years? You've got Lovey. You've got Mike Mike. You've got everybody up there. You've got the super genius and Jerry Angelo, our general manager. Why is it that nobody can find somebody in the college ranks? Why is it that they can't find somebody uh, from another team, make a trade, do whatever you have to do to help Cutler? On the offensive line, Doug, with the receivers, Doug. There are so many holes here, and boy, were they exploited today. Now, again, defensively, Doug, just to jump back to defense, our defensive tackles, mission in action. That Okoye, Olin Kutz, Doug, when it was a big run up the middle in the third quarter, Olin Kutz snapped the ball, he fired into Okoye, picked him up, put him over, and drove him right on his back, right into the ground. Well, Eddie, you talk about the you know offensive line, and I said I would come back to Omiel, and that, that's that's part of having reserves. He comes in the game. He left right, right off where he was last year. He got two what false starts. He ended up giving up a sack, so that was a big part of it. And the other part too, which I can't understand, is that they get confused. They get confused again, once again, on simple blitzes. You saw at the end of the game. At the end of the game. At the end of the game, the orders kept coming after him, and there was nobody, and when I say nobody, picking up a, a blitzing guy from the outside. Not a person. They act like they never played football before. And when he did, it was Kellen Davis. You saw it. I mean, it was right there. They went right around. Doug, I don't even know if he even touched the guy. He didn't. The he same, blocked on. He, he whiffed. Two or three times today. He did it last week. What is he, what is he doing out there? Well, the problem is, I guess, who are you going to put in? I don't even know. I don't even Mike Marsh. I understand his, you know, boy genius. I understand all that. But he, last year we were ranked 30th in offense, and I'm trying to take a look at this offense and trying to be, you know, trying to be reasonable because we went through this beginning of the year last year, and I know going to New Orleans is a tough deal. But the fact is, though, you can't do these kind of numbers. Our our quarterback averaged five point yards per attempt. And you know how big I am on that, Ed. He had a rating of 73.6. 4.4. You can't do that. You can't have a 5.4 and even think about winning a football game. And well, the other part, here, here, and you're right, I'm, I'm big on Jay Cutler, but he looked like crap today a lot of the time. Well, Dougie. Throwing the ball. Well, Maybe because he got a lot of pressure on him, obviously. Here, the, what, what, offensively, what do we need going into the 2011 season, okay? What do we need? We needed offensive linemen, and we needed wideouts. That could get separation. A game breaker. That, that is, the game breaker is right. That's not a mystery. Defensively, what has been the problem for years again is our interior of our defensive line. you got to get off that ball every week and get upfield and make things happen. Didn't happen today, happened the week before. And the other problem defensively, Doug, what was it? It was our defensive back. Last week, they never got challenged. First time they get challenged, 79-yard TD right over the fame Tampa 2 defense or the Lovey 2 game, set, match. Well, that, the part about that part, again, too, we got Major Wright sitting back there, and Conti was also in the game also. And then the, I saw the defensive line, what they did. They did a trick, Eddie. They did a trick between the defensive tackle and Peppers. Now, Peppers, too, was lost in action a lot of times during this game. But when it's all said and done with, you know, you don't give up a 79-yarder, obviously, just like you said, when you play in cover 2, you're playing deep. That was a major problem. There was no question about it. But that being said, that defense, they played okay. I mean, our offense wasn't even close to being okay. They were close to terrible. Doug, That's the part that scares the hell out of yeah, me. Yeah, you just, you know, about ten minutes ago you talked about, you talked that offensive line, and they looked totally, Doug. Every time they come up, they were confused. Totally. They were confused. What's to be confused when all of a sudden it becomes a jailbreak and, and, the, and there is this mass confusion, Doug? What do you do? You go to zone protection. You key off the center inside out. Guards, tackles, inside out. Tight ends, inside out. Keep a back in. Inside out. That's what you do. That's been done for years. That will never change. Last year was the same thing. I remember Olin, we said it on the show, Doug. Olin Kutz gets on after the game last year. Well, we should have went. We should have went to zone coverage, and we didn't do it. When, it. when there's a jailbreak, what happened today in the second half, especially late in the third quarter and fourth quarter, Doug, and obviously they can't pick up anything, the call is zone pass coverage, period.